Well, welcome back. I'm George. Yes, that's right. This is Barley and Hops, the channel that dares to unlock the mysteries of home distilling. Um, but uh, for the sake of not exacerbating a critical period of time that we're in now, I want to make sure that you understand, first of all, I'm not a doctor, but I can research the World Health Organization, the CDC. So what we're going to discuss today is hand sanitizer. Up to this point, we have remained moot. And the reason for that is to be respectful of the experts and the professionals that are doing such a wonderful job now trying to arrest uh, this virus as it transits across our country. Uh, the debilitating effects are obvious and we just need to get a handle on it. So please, listen to your local officials, listen to our governmental officials and those experts that are in charge. Now, what I share with you today does not in any way replace hand washing. Um, it's sort of like the basic process of making sure you remain clean and bacteria and virus free. Uh, but this is a surefire method in which to produce some hand sanitizer for those times when you cannot spend all that time in a sink or you're out and about and you need to sanitize things that you are touching or your touchers themselves. So please understand that up front. Um, and we're, we've got a, two different recipes or concoctions. Uh, one of them is for your average everyday person. Uh, this uh, information is available everywhere. I just want to demonstrate this so everybody gets this. Uh, and the other procedure concoction that we will do is for those home distillers because we do have a distinct advantage over the general population since we just happen to have ethanol. Um, which is an excellent antiviral, so an antiseptic. So, um, yeah, you can hear my my version of scotch uh, bubbling away behind me as it ferments to its fruition. Trolls be damned. Now, um, there again, there are two methods to do this, um, and we're going to cover the first one. We're going to cover is just for your average everyday person who just doesn't have a still and doesn't have that access to the things that distillers have. And uh, this is really a good example of um, a preparation for some of those unknown circumstances where having a still does come in handy. Uh, and that is isopropyl alcohol and aloe vera 100% gel. Uh, the, the combination of these two make an excellent hand sanitizer uh, and that's what we're gonna do today. Now, the World Health Organization uh, will recommend if you're making a really large batch and you're trying to dispense this uh, in order to prevent any bacteria from growing inside whatever you're making they use a little bit of hydrogen peroxide but for us who are trying to refill small bottles or make a few bottles for ourselves, the hydrogen peroxide is not an absolute necessity but these two items are now what do we have uh, the recommendation is 93 percent this is a 91 percent now, they do make a 50%, which I would not recommend. And the reason I would not recommend it is because your alcohol content, strength, concentration should be above 60%, 60% or above in order to be effective. So, therefore, therefore, on this channel, for this mixture, we have selected 60% is the goal. We have selected 65%. To be our concentration when we are finished and the reason why we selected 65 is so that because the mixtures are precise and exacting that if we do make a small error of a couple of milliliters or 0.2 ounces on one or the other we've got enough leeway that we're always going to be above the 60 percent purity okay very good now, the way we do this is relatively simple and straightforward. We've got the Barley Hops app. This is not the only app in the world, okay? There are plenty of them out there, but this is the one that we have available. And I will, again, I will publish the link to these below this video so that you can go to your computer and then send it to your phone so you can make it work. Um, this one is the Target Volume Dilution Calculator. And what I've done is I've selected in this particular case ounces and I've done this in milliliters as well because you can select either one 
I got three ounces. My final desired proof is 130 proof. Half of 130 is 65. 65 percent. In my beginning concentration for the isopropyl is 91 percent, which is 182 proof. So when I plug those numbers in, if you go to the bottom, it tells you on the bottom what the results are, and the results are, in this particular case, I'd need isopropyl alcohol, 2.14 ounces or 64.29 milliliters. Now, you see, that's why I'm at the 65%. Look, I mean, these, this 0.29 is going to be really difficult for me to, not impossible, but it's, it's going to be hard to get that exact. So I've got that window of that, 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 that variation that I can, I can work with. Uh, and for my aloe, it's going to take 0.86 ounces or 25.71 milliliters. Okay? <laughs> now, let me give you some options uh, when you're mixing this, these two items together. This is pretty hard to find right now for some reason. Um, but it's relatively inexpensive, probably about a dollar for uh, 16 fluid ounces or 473 milliliters. Uh, this was going to run you probably two bucks. Uh, there are some other options. Um, and remember that the alcohol is what does the work. The alcohol, a, a virus has a membrane around side that's supposed to uh, protect it. The alcohol breaks that membrane down and destroys the virus. Okay? That's, that's what the alcohol is doing. Um, the aloe vera, the gel, is a carrier. Because if you poured alcohol on your hands, alcohol is so thin, you know it's lighter than water, uh, it evaporates very quickly. So it doesn't have time to do its function. So what you do is you mix it with a medium, and that medium being a gel, an aloe vera is good because it softens the skin at the same time. I mean, there are other things you can use, but that's the purpose of having this is so that it remains in contact with your skin for a period of time in which the alcohol has an opportunity to do what it's supposed to do. Okay, uh, I've got this uh, Johnson's baby oil gel that's aloe and vitamin E infused. Uh, this works just as well. The only result is that you'll find that this will be thinner than the 100% aloe vera gel, and you may have to use it more than once in order, because your alcohol, if it's thinner, your alcohol is still going to evaporate a little bit quicker. Uh, and then, uh, of course, I've got just some regular hand sanitizer, not sanitizer, uh, uh, aloe soothing lotion infused with aloe vera. Uh, and this, again, is same process, same purpose. Uh, it'll do the same thing. Uh, it'll just be a little bit thinner once mixed. But you use the same values uh, in volume in order to achieve our 65% alcohol concentration. Now, um, let, let's do this, and we'll do the very first one because I've got these three-ounce bottles that I picked up from Walmart. Uh, I think they cost me like two bucks for four of them. <laughs> but they're, they're little travel bottles. Uh, really good size for, for mixing up small quantities of hand sanitizer. Now, and you can take this and you can, of course, you can up this scale because it is, it is linear. So if you double it, if you're making six ounces, you just double everything. If you're making, you know, 12 ounces, quadruple everything. So you can make larger batches if you want to. So our first goal is we're make 2.14 ounces. And I've got a graduated cylinder here. My graduated cylinder, I've got marked, it's in milliliters and I've also got it marked in ounces. I wrote that on there myself because I'm more familiar with ounces. What I need is I need 64.29, 64, what's that, 64.3 milliliters. And so that's what I'm going to pour into here. Oh, yo, yep. 64, now there's 60. That's 60. Let me use this. That's probably what that's there for. 62, 63, 64. There we go. 
64, just a tad over 64. So I've got 64.29, and I'll just place this inside the bottle. Now, since this is a three ounce bottle, there's no real need to try to measure out my aloe vera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the bottle up to the fill line with this 100% gel. And there we go. And you'll see how that gel sets lower than it, it just it drops into because it's heavier than your alcohol. Give that a shake. And lo and behold, we now have a bottle of hand sanitizer that is 65% alcohol concentration and a good for you to use okay so uh, you ha you have that capability so uh, and if if you if you get a, you're going to make quite a bit share that with your friends uh, let, let's be helpful in this time of need and time of strife across our nation now the the other method that we use is for those that are home distillers who have this unique again advantage uh, because we happen to have alcohol laying around um, in a lot of cases or the, the ability to make some. I'd recommend if you run a still, run it as a reflux still because you're looking for the highest proof that you could possibly get. Now in this particular case you're not you're not concerned about flavor uh, but because you're going to make so much you might as well make a really good one um, and then you know cut down what you don't use but use your pure alcohol. What I have here is I have 170 proof that I just happen to have laying around. Uh, used all the 190s uh, so I've got this 170 proof laying around and so what I did was they recommended to use 180 proof uh, but I have 170 proof you got to use what you have available um, this is going to skew just a little bit the the ability to uh, dilute this uh, but we can still remain above the 65% alcohol concentration if we just follow some real simple math rules, okay? And we'll do that. So we did the same thing with our calculator. We went to our Barley and Hops calculator, which was the target volume uh, dilution calculator. You'll find that below in the video. And at 170 proof, our total for 3 ounces, 90 milliliters, our ethanol was 2.29 ounces, which is a little bit more than our isopropyl uh, alcohol. Uh, so 2.29 ounces, and then the aloe, we 0.86 ounces. So let us do that. And oh, by the way, when you, if you get an opportunity while I'm doing here, sitting here doing this mixing, um, of course, subscribe, share us with your friends, like the video. Uh, I've got to ask. Um, love the sound of fermentation. Okay, let's go back. We've got 2.29 ounces, which is 64.29 milliliters. Whoo! Well, I'm way up above 70. <laughs> that's probably about 65. So what that's going to do, I'll add that to my three ounce jar. Now what is this going to do? Um, this will be just a little bit thinner than this one, but it will be just as effective. Which means that since it's a little bit thinner, I will more than likely have to use it twice. Uh, because remember, the alcohol does dissipate quicker when it's in a thinner state than it does in a thicker medium. It evaporates rather quickly. And there we go. Now, one of the other things that distillers just happen to have laying around a lot of times, um, if you use it, and I use it now, this may, using aloe, you'll also have that 
aloe vera oil, that, that odor, that aroma that comes with it. Um, glycerin. Uh, glycerin will do the same thing. It'll be just a little bit thinner, but it, it has the same properties. Uh, the only thing is, is that there's, there's no odor or aroma with the glycerin, so don't expect to use it on your hands and smell anything other than alcohol. Now, I hope that today we've managed to share with you uh, what you can do at home in order to protect yourself share with your friends, share with your neighbors. Uh, this is a come together period of time in our life and in our history uh, where we can all do our part. Um, and other than that, all I can do is say, please stay safe, follow the information from your local government and your governmental officials, listen to the experts, let the professionals do their job, and maybe, just maybe, with a little bit of this, we can move legalizing distillation at home a lot further down the road. Happy distilling.